The question is, how do you sleep at night when the very hardware designed to protect your company is being used to burn it to the ground? Seriously, we're talking about Cisco Secure Firewalls, the absolute backbone of network defense for thousands of organizations worldwide. What if I told you a highly advanced threat actor, one of the most sophisticated on the planet, is systematically exploiting these devices not just to steal data, but to completely erase them and crash your network? We're seeing a new variant of an ongoing attack, forcing tens of thousands of internet-facing devices to unexpectedly reload, causing a widespread denial of service condition. This isn't theoretical. This is happening right now. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and we're passionate about helping companies protect their organizations. With 10 years of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and penetration test requirements. You heard me right. The very technology you rely on for protection, the Cisco ASA and FTD devices, is being targeted. This is a terrifying evolution of the Arcane Door campaign we saw last year. When the most vital pieces of your infrastructure are compromised, the rest of your security strategy frankly becomes irrelevant. Over my 25 years building and securing software, I've learned that the perimeter is everything. And right now the perimeter is bleeding. We are looking at a full-blown crisis where unpatched firewalls are effectively becoming a liability for a denial of service attack. And speaking of engagement, a quick pause. Your comments are my absolute favorite thing. It's the best compliment you can give me. So if this news is already making you think, please drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts on this situation. This isn't your garden variety script kitty attack. This is a highly orchestrated campaign that leverages a terrifying chain of vulnerabilities. The foundation of this problem rests on two specific highly critical vulnerabilities. CVE 2025-20333, a critical remote code execution flaw, and CVE 2025-20362, an authentication bypass. These two flaws, when linked together, give an attacker complete and unauthorized access to your system. They were being exploited in the wild as zero days, meaning attackers were using them before Cisco even knew about the problem as far back as May of 2025. This entire setup creates a catastrophic vulnerability, allowing an unauthenticated user to run their own code on your network's primary defense system. If your firewall can be taken over by anyone on the internet, you have a five alarm emergency on your hands. The hackers behind this are not new to the scene. They're assessed with high confidence to be the same sophisticated threat actor behind the devastating Arcane Door campaign from 2024. And they're only getting better, evolving their methods. On November 5th, 2025, Cisco issued a grave warning about a new attack variant exploiting the same underlying flaws, but with a different, more immediately destructive goal. This new method, detailed with references like CVE 2025-2354 and CVE 2025-2358, forces unpatched devices to spontaneously reload, successfully causing a denial of service condition. They're also using advanced techniques like disabling logging, intentionally crashing devices to evade security tools, and even intercepting system commands. It's the digital equivalent of a ninja using a smoke bomb while they pick the lock. They want to destroy your logs and your system's integrity to cover their tracks. I'm pouring a lot of technical detail into this because it matters. Remember, I genuinely love seeing your perspectives on this stuff. Leaving a comment is my favorite compliment. So seriously, what are your teams doing right now to respond to this? Let me know below. This isn't about if you'll be targeted. It's about when and whether you've already closed the door. The scariest part? The attackers are deploying customized, frighteningly persistent malware like Ray Initiator and Line Viper. In some reported cases, they've gone so far as to modify the ROM monitor or ROM mon. Why? Because modifying ROM mon allows their malicious code to survive across system reboots and even firmware upgrades. This means a simple reboot won't save you. The malware is basically tattooed onto the device's soul. Cisco, the US CSA, and the UK NCSC are all sending out the same crystal clear message. You must upgrade to the fixed software releases immediately. Tens of thousands of devices are still exposed online. Folks, as a fractional CTO who has guided countless teams, let me be clear. There are no workarounds for the primary remote code execution flaw. This is a direct patch or fail situation. Your company's resilience depends on taking this action right now. So what's your take on this vulnerability? Think this could be a major issue? I really enjoy engaging discussions, so drop a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe because at Startup Hack, we're passionate about helping companies secure their business. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and pen testing needs. So reach out today and let us help. Check out startuphacksecurity.com.